Hey, how's it going? It's me, Paul here, and I'm gonna do a movie Q and A with my uh, sis, Christine, Hello. Tim, it's me, Paul. and this is David. For all the guys that don't know, this is David. I'm some random guy. So, yeah, <laughs> but we I'm care just... about his opinion. <laughs> so we're gonna just gonna ask some like uh, basic Q and A, like movie stuff. So, uh, Christine, we'll start with you. Yeah. What's your favorite movie? I have a lot. Should I name like five? No, it's name one. Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. Tim, favorite movie? Oh, favorite movie. Uh, personal favorite, Indiana Jones and the Lost Crusade. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the future, David. <laughs> Why didn't oh, mine just ever comment? Really? <laughs> uh, Screw you! Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Last Crusade is awesome, man. I just, I just didn't think that, I didn't think that was your favorite. I thought it would be like something like Citizen Kane, like Technical oh, Tim. Sure, sure. Technical <laughs> Tim. But no, that's, that's actually like personal awesome. Personal favorite. Like, I like Last Crusade, it's really good. Yeah, I'll have to go with Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, oh, that's a good one. Alright, what's your favorite sequel to a movie ever? Like, you walked out and be like, wow, that was better than oh, the original. Oh, my favorite. Let's go and start with David. David. Damn it. Uh, Favorite sequel ever. I'd have to go with the last movie to Star Wars. Like, the... Return of the movie. Jedi? Yeah. Ooh. A lot of people would say Star Wars sequels are like... Like some of their favorite sequels ever, like Empire Strikes Back specifically. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go with that cliche though. I'm gonna go with Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with I think Catching Fire. Catching oh, Fire. That was yeah, awesome. Catching Fire is fantastic. Aliens or Terminator Two is my favorite sequel to anything ever. What was the most disappointing sequel you've ever seen? Like you're like the movie first one was awesome. This this one is gonna shit. Insurgent, right, go. the second Divergent movie oh. is the one that comes to mind right now, which is very very disappointing. That was recent too. Mm -hmm. Tim, you have a disappointing sequel. Uh, I'm probably I'm sure there are worse second movies than this, but I'm gonna have to go with the one that like ugh, such missed potential would be The Matrix Reloaded. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, just come like come on. I'd go with Star Wars one. Star Phantom <laughs> Menace. <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> Good yeah. yeah, That one's a prequel, but I'll let that one slide. Oh, honorable shout out to Spider-Man 3. Like, oh, that yeah. really upset me. Yeah, oh, I like really like Spider-Man <laughs> 2, though. Because yeah. I'm a huge mm. Spider-Man fan, so like 3 was like really upsetting. That was like gut-wrenching. Like, uh, it took me like a week to accept that I hated it. Am I the only like, you kind of look like Andrew Garfield, like too. It. Yeah, I know. People tell me that. If you were on Isil Sorna right now, and you can pick any member of any of the Jurassic Park movies to help you get off the island. Who would you pick? Um, Dr. Grant. Dr. Grant? Dr. Grant? Dr. Grant? I'm not going to go classic with this, but I think Chris Pratt would help me get yeah, off the island. Yeah, I, I, like, I also want to be friends with Chris Pratt. I mean, yeah, we <laughs> jump on his song. I would say, like, Chris Pratt. I was thinking the other He's three. a beefcake. Like, I want to exactly. be friends with yeah. Chris He's an attractive man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but, like, Dr. Grant well, would you pick? Shit. I don't even know their names. <laughs> yeah. I'll, take the, I'll take the T-Rex. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who's the most developed character in any movie you've ever seen? Like, who do you think, like, you know personally? Someone else go first. Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, I think that he's really developed. Yes, yeah, you spent like seven movies. <laughs> Eight. 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 Yeah, he's very yeah. developed. I feel like Ron was more developed in those movies. Than what? Those movies. <laughs> I'm just saying, he had more, Ron had more, like, Emotional moments than Harry, you just kind of like chilled there. I mean, I don't know if I can entirely agree with that. It's called <laughs> Harry Potter, it's not called Ronald Weasley. Ron has less screen time. This is a tough question. Like, <laughs> it's like, name a movie with good character development. It's like, oh my god. Favorite action sequence in any movie ever? That's really I know yours is probably from The Matrix, the end of the first Matrix movie. Yeah, I like James Bond as far as a developed character, by the way. <clears throat> James Bond? Yeah. <laughs> James Bond. Because they had books, they developed Science each book so over and over again and had a character of those. We know what you know he what drinks, we know what he wears, you know what we know what kind of gun he carries. He's very developed. We it's all, we a, it's know a good, it's a good pick. It's a good I'm trying to think of an action sequence. It's hard because there's like your favorite one in every movie. So, I, if I'm gonna say like Harry Potter, my favorite one was in book four, movie four, <laughs> when the, with the dragon, when he was on the broom, and they were going around. One that always comes to my mind is the Candyland shootout from Django Unchained. Oh. Like, that was so cool. Yeah. That's or cool. So, anything from Total Recall, really. This is like, probably an obvious one, and it's like, a, and, I, and I almost hate how contemporary it is, but like, the last time that like, I was really visually impressed by an action scene and like in the theater I was like oh my god this is incredible was the hallway fight in Inception that was oh, like yeah. that was the first time yeah, in like that was, that was the first time uh, in like ages that I was like oh this is cool most recent cool action sequence I saw was mocking Jay part 2 that was the, good. the yeah. tunnel scene that was a good mm -hmm. thing favorite movie car mine would have to be either the Mad Max car or back to the future back to the future Paul asked me this question the other day, and I said the... Bones asked it Oh, wait. Guys! <laughs> guys, Christine has the talking pillow. Thanks. 
So Paul, I asked me this question the other day, and I said the Mini Cooper from the Italian <laughs> Job remake. Oh yeah, but that's just a normal car. You can awesome. steal gold with them. Yeah, you can go. <laughs> the <into> gold <laughs> technically weighs more than the car. In real life, you wouldn't be able to steal them. <laughs> Probably the lamest movie car ever. What's the funniest movie? Like the hardest you've ever laughed watching a movie? Most recently, Spy. Take. Um, Timmy was an average kid. No one okay, I mean, <laughs> like, if I'm thinking back to, like, because I didn't laugh as hard nowadays. <laughs> but, like, back That's in it. the day, before I was sad. No, uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. His heart shrank twice. Uh, <laughs> I would have to pick a Jim Carrey movie, and it's probably Me, Myself, and Irene when he gets his thumb shut off. <laughs> like, it's just his performance there. Like, I remember, like, that had me, like, laughing for days. And liar, liar. Funniest movie. Or from Step Brothers, because I, even by myself, I'll laugh my ass off on Step Brothers. Like some movies, you have to be in a group to laugh, but that does. I don't need a group. Anchorman. I was died. No. Anchorman. One. <laughs> yeah, he's like just scrub. <laughs> Can't even get his names right. Anchorman one or two. One. Sixty percent of the time, it works every, every time. time. <laughs> John, Paul, George, or Ringo. Um, John, obviously. Paul. Paul. I guess I'm Ringo now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, usually green. I say green. Blue. Green. Red. Green! What's your favorite smell in the morning? Oh yeah, I was waiting for a high five. For green. <laughs> uh, my favorite smell in the morning. Oh, cinnamon buns in the oven. They sound really good. Bacon. Maybe lavender, I guess. <laughs> no, no, no judge. That stuff smells good. Favorite video game based on a movie. Oh, oh. Shrek. Super Slam. Oh, I have to agree with that one. Super, <laughs> Super Slam Five. Like Knights of the Old Republic, maybe. Just, oh, that game is really fun. Just say Battlefront. There you go. I feel like I'm always talking like this. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, Battlefront. Favorite Shrek scene in any of the Shrek ooh, movies? Ooh, 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 ooh! When Donkey is turned into a horse, he's like, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to play. <laughs> you know that one? Yeah. Also, the part when they're like, No, oh, no, two choices. No, in the second one, when they come with the invitation, and they're like, You don't get the puppy anymore. But they're like, Stop it! The introduction of Farquaad in the first one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I like when he's on Mongo's back and the horse and they're all charging into the castle and the song is playing I Need a Hero in Shrek 2. I need a hero! That's an awesome scene. My favorite scene would have to be when Farquaad is torturing the, uh... Gingy? Yeah, Gingy. <laughs> yeah. Harry Potter or Gandalf? Gandalf is a bro. Harry Potter. Probably Harry Potter. Yeah. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars? I can Star pick. Wars. I like the Star Trek movie. Number two. I mean, Star Wars any day of the week. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, she's wrong. <laughs> I've been bred on Star um, Wars. This is an opinion? Uh, no, it's, it can be wrong. It's not like Rapid It's one of those opinions. It's opinion. the wrong opinion. Legos or Mega Blocks? I have a talking puppy. <laughs> what? what the hell are Mega Blocks? <laughs> Legos. <laughs> is that like an off brand Lego? <laughs> yeah. Obviously Legos. <laughs> yeah, Lego. I mean, it's gonna be Lego. Jesus. I grew up on Legos. I grew up on Mega Blocks. So we're gonna like. offend some Mega Blocks fans. <laughs> Who's the funniest villain you've ever seen in a movie? Ooh. The villain in Spy is played by Rose Byrne. <laughs> so funny. Doctor Evil. Will Ferrell Mugatu. <laughs> <laughs> Batman versus Spider Man. Spider Man. Best. And worst Shaq movie. I've never seen them. <laughs> I've never seen it. I've only I known actually... one that genie one. Yeah, that was too. a bad question. <laughs> best <laughs> and worst Shaq thing in general. So best Shaq <laughs> is probably when he plays basketball. Yeah. <laughs> or when he does some stand up because he's a pretty funny guy. Worst Shaq probably Shaq Fu or Steel or Alakazam. <laughs> I don't know Alakazam. Alakazam. <laughs> okay. Or whatever. Favorite Marvel movie. Avengers. Guardians of the Galaxy. I also like that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the first Avengers. Like, Captain America Winter Soldier is close. Oh, man. I would say Winter Soldier. <laughs> That's our little movie Q&A. We just did something <laughs> nice and fun for you guys. Leave any suggestions for other stuff down below. And thank you for watching, as always. I'm Paul. I'm Christine. I'm Tim. I'm David. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Adios.